First at 5.30 tonight, some good news in the tale of an abandoned dog in Rhode Island. A pit bull puppy who needs some serious surgery is going to get it, thanks to the kindness of strangers and their donations. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now live from the animal shelter in Pawtucket with a story that's only on Eyewitness News. Well, Danielle, what a very happy conclusion here tonight. Animal control officer John Holmes calling the response, quote, overwhelming after our report aired last night at 10 and 11. Calls coming in from all over New England to help this dog. Just minutes after Eyewitness News exclusively showed you this puppy pit bull last night who was in need of a leg amputation or he'd be put to sleep, the phone started ringing off the hook at the Pawtucket Animal Shelter with generous people willing to donate money for his surgery. There's also a long list of people now who want to adopt him. It's been unbelievable. Uh, the calls, uh, I had uh, some people even getting a hold of us last night after the story at 10 o'clock. One of those donors, an anonymous local businessman. If we didn't raise enough money, just fill in the amount, and he did. He delivered it. The Pawtucket School Lunch Program, uh, they brought in some donations. We've gotten hundreds of calls today. Some people even dropping off 5 or $10. Calls even coming in from all over New England. We got a call from a cab driver who is in Boston. The puppy was ditched Wednesday night outside the animal shelter with a badly injured back leg and a bruised right eye. They don't know exactly how he was injured or who dropped him off, but the puppy is extremely gentle, and animal control officer John Holmes says he's relieved Friday. The puppy will soon be going to a very loving home. I just can't get over the response, and I can't thank the people, you know, enough from the bottom of my heart they saved this dog. So things couldn't be better here tonight in Pawtucket for this little dog. We were unable to see him today because he is having his surgery in Warwick, but we're told that he will be okay. Animal control officers still looking into leads tonight as to where this dog came from as well. Reporting live tonight with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom with an exclusive from Pawtucket, I'm Catherine Slotnick, Eyewitness News.